Hi, welcome to part 7 of Blitz Basic Programming for Beginners. At the end of the last session we introduced a piece of code uh, which was a variable for the number of lives that the player has in the game. We started at 3 here, so at the start of every game you've got 3 lives. And then a part in the game loop, we take this value down by 1. If one of the bombs, which is a bomb object here, hits your ship, your ship object, your image, using the images collide command. So that would delete the bomb and reduce your lives by one. Now what we saw last time was obviously because we've not introduced anything to end the game, the game just keeps going, your lives will go into negative numbers and just keep going down. So what we're going to do is, after it's checked the bombs here, we're going to end the game, if you're dead. So we're going to put end the game screen, not really going to be a screen, it's just going to be some more text on the screen. So we're going to say if lives equals zero, then do the next bit. So we need an end if, because we're doing a block of commands for it to do. So if lives is zero, then the game's over. So what we're going to do is, we're going to write the word game over using text into the middle of the screen screen is 640 wide so the middle is going to be 320 uh, around the bottom of the screen so that it's in fact no we'll do this near the top of the screen so that it's above the aliens and directly in the line of sight of where the player is looking and it shouldn't have any other graphics behind it so we're going to have a big game over in capital letters now the text command also has some extra variable, um, extra arguments you can put on the end which are whether or not to centre it on the coordinates you give it so 320 by 100. Normally, if I just didn't put anything on the end here, it would start writing the word game over at them coordinates. I actually want game over to be centered on them coordinates. So 320 by 100 will be in the middle of the actual word, not at the start of the word, like it normally would be. It becomes more, this will become more obvious when you see it running. Uh, next thing we're going to do is basically just flip that image onto the screen because normally we would have to wait until the end of the main loop to flip onto the screen, but because of the, because of the end of the game we're just going to grab the whole attention of the game put the image on the screen, delay it by three seconds, which means it will draw the still image on your screen delay it for three seconds, uh, the reason this says 3000 is because the delay command, which just pauses the running of the program works in milliseconds, and there are 1000 milliseconds in one second so delay 3000 just means pause the program for 3 seconds after which we'll end the program so if we just see this running now and I'll die as quickly as I can 1, 2, dead so we get game over at the top middle of the screen and the game ends all automatically it's a bit of a quick and dirty way of doing a game over screen but you know for the purpose of this tutorial that's fine, you can make, you can make your own uh, big explosions going off later on, do whatever you want uh, when you're customising the game for how you want it and you'll see if you look at the Space Invaders game that I've made myself and there's also in a video of that on YouTube that sort of doesn't have very good game over screen either um, but the rest of the game is uh, done a lot more professionally there's animated backgrounds, animated aliens, uh, music, that sort of thing uh, we will actually look at music and sound effects in, in the next tutorial though, after this. So to carry on, the next thing we're missing is a score. So we'll introduce a score variable after lives. So score. Set score to zero at the start of every game. Just so you're not repeating the game, the score just keeps going up. That's if you put the option in to uh, in increase the score to um, you know, play the game again. So after each bullet, hits an alien, we want our score to increase so we'll put that in here so we'll say score equals score plus 10 now we want to draw the score on the screen so we'll do that at the same time that we draw the lives on the screen so we're going to say text uh, instead of 50 we'll have it maybe at it's 640 across so maybe we have it at 530 by 420 I'm going to say score, I'll in capital letters because these old fashioned games have a lot of words in capitals just because it's easy to, easy to see on the screen. And we'll put the score variable after the word. So if we run this, 
you'll see we now have a score at the bottom right of the screen as well as our lives at the bottom left and the score will go up every time I shoot an alien but obviously not if I miss ok so if I just quit this the last thing I want to get done in this session uh, is actually making the aliens move now we have a part of code that updates where the aliens are um, what the computer doesn't know at the moment is how to actually move the aliens so because we want them moving left and right we just want a variable which will be an amount f for which the aliens should move um, but also a variable we can change so what we'll do is we'll introduce a variable, we'll call it AMX which will be the alien movement on the X axis and axes are just going left and right whereas Y axis go up, goes up and down so we've got AMX we're going to set that to 1 which is just the speed of which they will move each frame so each frame the aliens will move 1 pixel so that's the alien speed something more sense in a moment when we actually see it running so at the point where we update each alien we check where we decide whether it's going to drop a bomb where we draw it on the screen that sort of thing um, we're actually going to check if AX, which is where the alien is on X, is more than say 460. Then we're going to make AMX to be minus AMX, which means they'll move in the opposite direction. Then we then update AX plus AMX. Uh, to, to update the position of the alien. So if we now run this, ah, okay, got an error, should have been equals. So if I run this, we've got a bug. What we should be doing is we'll actually move this around the other way. So we're going to say, Through it this way. Instead of here, let's say we do it after we check the last alien, after we update the last alien. So we'll do it there. In fact, we won't do it there because we could potentially be trying to check an alien that's just been shot. Um, so, what we'll do, we'll take the position of that last alien just before we delete it. AX, we'll call it AX equals AX and then we'll say if the position of the last alien we checked is more than 460 then it's time to reverse which way they're going in so it's actually going to be minus 1, well no minus AMX that will do the same thing and we're also going to say if AX equals less 20 then AMX again equals minus AMX so if AMX is minus 1, minus AMX will be 1, and it will go back the other way. So if we run this, <laughs> the aliens is going to shiver back and forth and not work properly at all. And that's because of a bug. Let's shift this code. Get rid of that. I'm just going to botch this quickly and shift it all back up. We're going to say AX equals AMX plus 1. If A is 160, then AMX equals minus AMX. If it's minus 20, then we'll do that. Let's see what that does. Okay, that's actually looking better. Oh, it is now moving properly. not moving all the way over because it should have been 6 it should have been 620 not 480 run that and it works I'm going to have to cut this very short because I've got about 10 seconds left on the video but you can download the source code for this and I'll carry on talking about it in the next tutorial ok I'll see you then